everybody, Mike Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Hobby Supply. Uh, tonight I'm going to do a little tiny short video on um, making some holes down through foam. It doesn't sound too hard. Uh, most people chop a hole in or they stick an all down through or something like that, which I have done. However, up there at the mine I ran into a particular problem where I needed to go down through six, seven, about eight inches of foam. Uh, I didn't want to drill down through. I wanted to make a relatively small hole. Uh, and then I had mentioned it on a video and I had one of my subscribers uh, point out to me about using heat. Uh, so we're going to show you how I did it. And I want to thank the subscriber. I can't remember his name. But I want to thank him for pointing this out to me. And it works terrific. And I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay. As you can see here, if we had levels, uh, uh, multiple levels of foam stacked up, it might be hard to get all the way down through there with anything and keep a hole. You know as well as I do, you stick an all down through there and you pull it out, you wind up, uh, the foam winds up closing in on the hole. But uh, anyway, with the suggestion of, of the sus subscriber, what I'm using is, this is number six ground wire. I just happen to have it here. You could definitely use a smaller wire than this as long as it was rigid. And we're going to use a torch. And I happen to have one that auto lights, which makes it relatively handy. And I'm just going to heat this up. I'm going to poke it down through there and show you how easy it is. Okay. We're going to heat this guy up. need to be in any big rush to do this and I have to hold this because these pieces are not glued but I'm going to show you how easy this is. You ready for this? Now we have a hole all the way down through there. Uh, what I do is I have a nail in here that I hang this on so I'm going to hang it here for right now. Anyway, it didn't hang there, but nevertheless, to prove to you that I have a hole down through there, I am going to take and that hole there, that hole there is, uh, it's a little less than a quarter of an inch in diameter, and you may not want a hole that big, but I'll show you how to rectify that as well or what I did in the back, back here at the mine, and I'll show you a picture there in a minute. But I have just this piece of stranded wire that's, I don't know, it's probably 24 gauge solid. So I can kind of bend it into shape and get it relatively straight. And to show you that we made a nice hole down through there, I'm just going to drop this guy down through there. There you have it. Now, what I do if I'm hooking a street light or something that has a real tiny wire on it, um, I don't have one out here, but what, what I normally do is the end of this is twisted. Let me zoom in a little bit here. The end of this is twisted, and the other end is twisted so it doesn't catch as you're pushing it down through. You could use a single wire, by the way. This is not, not rocket science here. But anyway, I take my little fine wire and I twist it around in the same direction as the twists on this wire. And then I just make sure and twist it real, real well there. Then I have enough of the, the wire sticking out underneath the table down here. And let me back out, way out. And let me go down here a little bit. At least on my layout, if you make enough of this wire, you can pull it out here to the front of the layout. So you can see that I've got this hole I can pull my little fine wire from from the uh, Woodland Scenic street lights right down through it. And that's what I was doing today. Um, and then let me take you up here and show you how I was mounting the street lights so that that makes sense with uh, the large hole. 
Okay, I'm kind of close to the camera here, but anyway, and I don't know how well you can see this, but anyway, I take the uh, little magnet wire and I hold it, and then I wrap this in the same direction that this big wire is twisted, and then I just wrap it around the wire. Now what I've got is something I can pull the fine wire down through with. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to pull it on down and at some point it'll pull up very easily. Now, as you can see here, we have a hole that's way too big for the street light. So here is how I rectified that. Okay, and this is kind of a floppy piece of foam, but what I did is right near the big hole, I took the awl and I made a little hole. Then I took, let me see if I can zoom in for you just a little bit here. Then I took the magnet wire and folded it back up the lamp post, like so. Then I just inserted that into that hole. Now you can see that I have a lamp post that's standing upright, and then I can take that slack and pull it right down either into the foam or down onto the ground. Now all I have to do is put a small piece of masking tape over this or however I want to fill it. I could put caulking in there, whatever I want to do. And then I can come back, put my ground cover around here, and off we go. So there's a thought on how to pull wire through uh, many layers of foam. And I don't know how many layers I have right here. I've got two, four, six, seven, at least eight and a half inches there. So that's how I mounted the lights. Let me show you how that turned out today. So here's what I have up here. Uh, I used the same method to stick the uh, hot uh, wire down behind the masonite there and all the way down through the foam from that position it's at right now. Then I super glued the uh, blinking LED to the printed backdrop. And now I have a blinking warning light there. I've also put in these street lights. I have not come back and done any of the scenery work. I have also installed this truck with lights front and back. So just to give you an idea of how dramatic this is, let me turn off the lights here. Okay, this camera is not very good in the dark, but you can see that the effect is very good. Even the truck coming down the road, if I get down off of here and I go around the back, you can see the tail lights on the truck. And if I get way back here, I think the effect is very good. But anyway, the video is more on how to get the holes down through and then how to mount whatever you want to mount. Um, like I say, you could use any thickness of wire as long as it's relatively rigid, even a piece of stainless steel or piano wire. Whatever you thought you could deal with and get something down through, that would be sufficient. Okay, gang, I hope this video helps you on uh, the dilemma of how to get down through multiple layers of foam. It never occurred to me to use heat and a, and a piece of metal, but um, I'm grateful that I found out how to do it, and I thought I would share it with you. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.